Now to some updates from the Beijing Winter Paralympics. In the para biathlon discipline, Liu Zixu finished first in the men's 10K sprint event, earning China's first gold at the Games. USA's Oksana Masters won gold in the women's 7.5K sprint. And in para alpine skiing, Slovakia's Henrietta Farkasova won gold in the women's downhill vision impaired event, the first gold medal of the Games. The 2022 Beijing Winter Paralympics got underway on Friday with an opening ceremony at the National Stadium. The ceremony presents the ideas of unity and highlights the spirit of self-empowerment for those with disabilities. The spotlight came on again Friday night at the National Stadium or the Bird's Nest. A curling stone finished off a countdown to the start of the opening ceremony of the Beijing 2022 Paralympic Winter Games. Beijing. 2022年冬残奥会开幕 The ceremony ran about 80 minutes with a theme of blooming of life. The organizers said they aimed to show the pursuit of people with disabilities for a better life and a more inclusive world. About 30% of the performers were people with disabilities from across the country. Also in attendance was International Paralympic Committee President Andrew Parsons, China's Li Duan, a four-time Paralympic champion in long jump and triple jump, was the final torchbearer of the Paralympic flame. He had the honor of lighting the cauldron, and a touching moment. Lee struggled to place the torch in the middle of the cauldron, and the audience cheered him on. Finally, the snowflake-shaped cauldron was lit up and ascended to the top of the stadium. In the next nine days, more than 500 athletes from 46 delegations will compete. China is sending 96 Paralympians. An estimated 85 million Chinese people live with disabilities. Authorities have expressed hope the Games will inspire them to reach beyond their limits.